Hi right, people, it's the average man again here. Uh, right, you've probably seen some other videos that I've done. Um, I've just put a load up on YouTube and it's all part of a blog post I'm doing. Um, why am I doing a big blog post? Well, the guys over at c4labs.net, uh, they sent me a whole box of Raja Pi cases. Um, turns out they've got a kind of a whole new catalogue going on, they're ramping up their operation. And they sent a nice little note, little email over saying, hey, do you want to check them out? Maybe give some away to your readers, whatever you want to do, we'll send you a box. I said, thank you very much. Uh, so. Here's one of them. Um, so this is the Zebra case. This is the original Zebra. Uh, there's a new one that's just come out and I've got one of those as well. So check out my YouTube channel or even this blog post um, to see that as well. Now I have put this together already before because otherwise it'd be a bit of a long video of me trying to work it out. It is a little bit confusing on the first go. The instructions are quite brief so it does take a bit of uh, you know, a couple of tries to get it right. So what I do, obviously I can't show you the case because it's in pieces. So let me put it together and I'll show you how it goes together. It might help someone out there who's a little bit stuck at the moment with their one. Uh, so first thing we do, yeah, it's a little bit tricky. Just get the screws in underneath this plastic panel first, okay? Because they're going to guide on all the other pieces. Now, unfortunately, I've already put the little rubber feet on underneath as well, which might make it a bit tricky for me. Um, but we'll see how far we get. Okay, so let me try and turn this around without losing the screws straight away. Ready? Boom, okay, not bad. Right, next, see how this is in order? I'm cheating. I make it look like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. This is a, well, it's meant to be, this is the walnut zebra, actually, this one. Um, so that's the kind of colour that you want. That's going to be on the bottom, because you obviously won't see much of this bit, which is the cardboard. So that just goes on upside down like that, which matches these holes. There we go. A bit fiddly. Okay, cool. Next, this black thing. Hold that side. Goes on like that. Let me move this over a bit. There we go. Okay. Again, see how I'm just using the screws to help me put these things on. It makes life a bit easier. Okay. Now, either now or after the next step, we chuck the pie in. And what we need to make sure we do, uh, hang on, this way around. Uh, yep. Is put this little wood thing on. Otherwise, it all goes a bit peaked on. So that's on. Hold it on. I'm putting your pie in. Your pie is just kind of, kind of like sitting there. Yeah. It's gonna kind of go. Let's just do that for now. See how far we get. This part goes on next, and it all starts to make sense in a minute. This is really flimsy, watch out, it's quite thin. There's lots of different kind of size layers, it's quite an interesting thing to build. But you've got to be, you know, you've got to have your finger and thumbs about you. Right, now I've done something wrong here, I think. What's going on here? That doesn't feel right. You know what? That isn't right. No. Let's put this piece on first. Yeah, it should be right. See, I've even made it before and it's confusing. These kind of cases are the more challenging pie cases. There we go. That's better. Okay, you need to put the clear bit on first. Otherwise you'll get confused like me. Okay, you see how that's kind of sitting in there? The plastic bit's holding it in. Okay, great. Now, this is a bit weird. So it's got kind of like two corners and two angles. So just, it's actually more simple. You've got a little groove here. So just chuck those on and make sure the wood bit goes in the groove. Ready. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's falling. Now each time you do one of those, you put one of these corners on. This goes over the other side. Okay, let me move this over a bit more. There we go. That goes on there. Again, the little groove holds our bit of wood in. You start seeing that bit of wood. A bit more supported now. Let's do that again. So you've got exactly the same process once again. Boom. Bash. Happy days. There we go. Getting there. This black piece goes on. This little dip to the left. Here. It's pretty obvious as well because you can't go wrong because of the size of the USB and the Ethernet ports. There we go. Another walnut layer. This side up again. Can't go wrong because of the shape of these. So just chuck that on. And then we chuck this on. This is the last plastic piece. I should probably give that a little clean, but there you go. That goes in there. Now, because of my rubber things, it's going to stop me screwing that in. So let's just hold that up and turn it. Now, where are the screws? <laughs> I think I left the screws somewhere else. Let me grab them. They're floating around average towers as we speak. Right, here we go. Okay, so trying carefully not to mess up all the hard work we've just done. And you can see, oh, look at that. That's pretty. Right, let's hold it upside down because otherwise the screw's going to fall out. And if I just twist these on for the sake of the, oh, maybe not. For the sake of the video, let me just twist these on. Okay. It's one of those heavy breathing moments before it all goes wrong. One false move. Okay, that one goes in there. And I guess if you don't want the nuts at the top here, you could probably turn the screws around the other way. 
it might be a little bit harder to build. I'll maybe wait till you got this far and then maybe do one screw at a time. You know, if you if you prefer a, that kind of side at the top. Uh, up to you. Um, there we go, ready? Oh. Last one, don't let me down. Yeah. Okay, and there you have it guys. So that is the Zebra Walnut Case. Now they do different ones, different finishes. You get ones without the wooden layers, you get, oh no, there's like alien green, there's purple. You've got nice little holes there, so if you want to mount it on somewhere, you put your two screws in and just push it up, and that'll sit on the wall nicely. Um, it kind of caught, this, this, the actual USB part is exposed a bit there, so it, there's no plastic over these guys. And it's kind of cool because it sits nice and flat and it makes it nice and thin as well. Uh, so that's good. I think if you want to use a GPO, you can just push a belt between those layers there to do that. SD card, you can get into that easily. Uh, all the other ports, see that bit of wood, that bit of wood that we uh, used earlier. And also, let me just grab, now you've got these guys as well. So these are the Zebra Vesta, you'll see a separate video on these. But what you can do, we've got different colours, there's black clear. And these actually mount, well obviously not with all this stuff on there. But you can mount these with the different fixings straight onto this. And so then that can be mounted on the back of your monitor say, and your pie is nice and protected. It's out of the way off your desk, and it's good if you're kind of using it as a web server or something like that. But that's a separate product. That's optional. If you want to use that, that's good if you're that kind of guy. Or girl, sorry, on my manners. There we go, guys. So that is the c4labs.net Zebra Walnut Case. I said there is a new version. There'll be a video coming out on the new version of this case as well. They've increased, they've increased it, they've increased it. They've improved it with some heat sinks and some other bits and bobs. Basically listening to people like us that recommended some changes. Okay guys, so check it out on the blog, averageman versus rajapai.com, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.